Hello students. Today we will be studying about note making and summary which comes under your reading section. The second question of your reading section is about note making and summary. Now what is the purpose of note making? Why we have to make notes? Now let me tell you notes helps us a lot to revise your lessons before an examination notes helps us to write a report or a letter or an essay or to plan a lecture a speech or any discussion notes are very important for us to make a presentation or even to convey telephonic message without leaving at the important details we can make notes even to summarize a text that we have read we can make notes of it so these are the advantages of making notes okay now let me tell you what are the rules of making notes and summary when you make notes from an essay or an article or a chapter from a book the first thing is to read the passage thoroughly from beginning to and to get a bird's eye view this kind of reading is called skimming by skimming the passage we get answers to the following questions what does the passage deal with or what can be a suitable title for it because the first thing we need to do is to read the passage and then to get a title search a title and this title we must write the title in the middle of the page as i have written rules of the note making in the middle of the page that way you need to write your title in the middle of the page it should state the main idea of the passage and this we will get only once when we read the whole uh, passage or an article given in your question paper now this title should be not very long very lengthy you can write the title even in one word two word three or four words don't make give a big sentence over here fine so after this the second thing we have to do is identify the main points supporting details in a given text now do not be afraid if there are any uh, sections of reading from where you do not make notes the reason may be that they are not required in your notes so what you have to do is you have to find the main divisions of the passage and supply suitable heading for them okay now some of this heading could also be further divided into subheadings the second point is write minimum three main headings and three subheadings a subheading is a subdivision of the main topic okay below subheadings the three sub subheadings can are where headings can also be used which are the part of the main topics but it's not necessary i may uh, suggest you not to go for this sub subheadings when i'll deal in the with the format i'll just tell you this point again over here there okay so after reading the full passage we will find out the main heading paragraph wise also we can uh, uh, get the heading and under that main paragraph what are the important um, part that we can write up in subheadings okay now when we are reading the passage we need to underline the important sentence it helps to make headings and subheadings when we read that uh, time itself we can underline with the pencil the main headings and subheadings so it will be a help or it will become easy for us to find the main headings and subheadings okay avoid using long sentences we should not write long sentences the short sentences to be the uh, short uh, words could be used to write your notes write phrases phrases could be used lengthy sentences you need to avoid them ignore information which is less important 
what is not required should not be added in your notes okay minimum four abbreviations that is short forms to be used we can uh, use short forms in between uh, our uh, notes and the key to abbreviation should be written after writing the notes at least four abbreviations four is uh, necessary to write in uh, your notes other than that also you can write but uh, it's of no use because you get marks only for the uh, four abbreviations so why to waste our time in uh, writing uh, other abbreviations other than four okay now for abbreviations the correct way is to write first few letters for example education we can write edu edu for the word important we can write m okay now in abbreviations do not use numbers as abbreviation okay when for example when it's written 2 in the passage there's no need of writing the number 2 it's wrong so, so this uh, way of abbreviation should be avoided understood okay now in the note we only have to go for heading sorry title uh, yeah, of course it can be called as heading also then three main headings more than three if we write it's of no use it will be wastage of time so try to write three main headings and under this three main headings only three subheadings could be written fine now let's go to the rules of summary do not exceed word limit when we write summary whatever word limit is given in the question paper we need to stick to that okay make summary of your notes not the passage now the summary we have to make of the notes what we have prepared in note making not of the passage what is given in the question paper so write the summary only of the uh, note making what you have written in your answer use one paragraph only three two three four paragraphs is not required in summary just one is enough no abbreviations in summary in summary there is no need of writing abbreviations okay write complete sentences now your sentences should be complete grammatically correct okay no shortcuts should be written avoid using whatsapp languages in your note making and uh, in your summary follow the order of the notes uh, what the um, points you have written it should go in order in a systematic way you need to write your summary as well okay now let's come to the format the very first thing the title it should be written in block letters and it should be underlined then comes up main heading it's about the paragraph whatever paragraph you have in the question paper from there you will get one main heading then under that we have to write 1.1 subheading another point would be 1.2 subheading under this it could again be divided into sub subheading but i'll suggest not to go for this avoid making sub subheading okay then 1.3 subheading again three points so this way you make the first main heading then you get under this three subheadings then we go to the second main heading then 2.1 2.2 2.3 2 follow the order hmm? and uh, uh, the sequence the way it's been written over here okay then third main heading and 3.1 3.2 3.3 again three subheadings over here now after that make a box and there you write key to abbreviations uh, for example i have written first you will write the short form and the complete word over here okay this way you need to write four abbreviations after making notes okay fine now after completing this you write summary in the center of the page underline it and start writing summary of the notes what you have prepared in your note making fine 
so this has to go your summary has to go in systematic order avoid uh, copying the passage from the question paper okay there you will lose marks you need to write summary of the note making what you have prepared over here okay systematic way you go and then write summary fine so here i hope you understood it well thank you god bless you